ready for a night of laughs. This weekend, you'll be laughing so hard your stomach will hurt. The live lit laughter comedy jam, which rolls into the Fox Theater tomorrow night. That's what it's all about. It stars five all-star comedians, and one of them is joining us right now on Live in the D. Corey Holcomb, thank you for being with us. What's up? How you doing, D? You all right? <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you again. Again? Again. Yeah. Do tell. What, oh, what yeah. happened the last time you were here? Well, you know, I'm originally from Chicago, so I've been coming to Detroit um, quite a while, whether it's doing a comedy show, uh, visiting somebody that I'm um, not supposed to be visiting. Ooh. How you doing, babe? You all right? You know this is live TV, right? Yeah, this is live okay, TV. Okay, okay. The truth is the best thing. I want to say to the girl from last year, I got somebody with me this year, but I still got your name at the door. You can bring your husband. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. So in the description of the show, it says that your comedy is both an auditory and visual experience. What does that mean exactly? I don't you know throwing what, stuff I, at people? What's I, going on? I don't know what auditory is. What is that? No. That sounds like when you have a stomach ache. <laughs> <laughs> Take the bubbly water for you? Right. But so, uh, I do a lot of relationship stuff in my act. So okay. all you couples that are on the verge of breaking up, come on to the show this weekend and let me finish that thing I'll off. Get, you're going to get him across the finish line? Right, oh boy. right. Sometimes it's better for people to break up. I agree. On you television, Dr. Phil and Oprah, they prepare people to make it. I prepare people to fail. Sometimes you just got to let it go. Sometimes breaking up is not a failure, though. Sometimes it's like you got to just move on. I agree. Take someone to the curb, right? Yeah. It's a win in the long run, this yeah. is my opinion. So. But, but where I'm from, we don't break up with girls. All girls are valuable, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes they babysit kids that you get stuck with for the weekend. <laughs> It happens. Everybody got purpose. Everybody got purpose. Oh, no. I'm leaning out of the way here because sparks are about to fly off of Tati. Boy, that's some kind of playerificness if you can get so, some watch your other kids. Okay. Yeah, Don't no, hate the player, hate the game. I right? know, right? right? I'll let you guys handle that. No, but that's <laughs> real love. If you drop your kid off from another girl over the other girl house. <laughs> That's love right there. I don't know the woman that would do that, so I'll believe you. Some women will do it. Um, okay. You know, this comedy thing, it pays me well. So mm -hmm. the girls I deal with are normally in poverty situations. Ah, that's what it is. So that little two, three hundred dollars I'm working with that's is helpful. like gold. In it. <laughs> so when you roll into town and uh, you're trying to step up and step step to somebody and bring your game to you, what up, doe? Have you heard somebody say what up, doe? What up, yeah, that's, that's, that's the thing out here in Detroit. Yeah. What up, Dope. Yeah. Yeah. Call, all my friends out here talk like that. All right. Well, you, Are you married? I'm oh, not I knew married. This oh, you're not? Yeah, you, you know everybody going ass. Yeah, that's true. That, I wouldn't be a real player if I didn't shoot my <laughs> shot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> See, when he first sat, when you first sat down, when we first came yeah. over, he was like, he peeped no, it. He, really? I, I peeped it. I oh. saw the look in the eye. I just know that two, three hundred dollars I'm offering ain't gonna work that with her. Work. That ain't gonna work. She looked like her check got her apartment. Car no it got coming. commas. It got commas. <laughs> Lots of commas. Listen, all right. she's all about having that credit score checked before oh, anything yeah. happens. Yeah. Basically, basically. Well, you know. Well. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. So you're not just a comedian. You've done acting. You've guest starred on like everybody hates Chris. Um, you've done some voiceover work before. And I'm almost done with my book. Oh, okay. Tell us about that. Well, I got a book coming out. It's for all the ladies who, unfortunately, sometimes your husband will go out and have a child outside of the uh, marriage. So I wrote this book called Accepting the Side Baby. Good and night, um, it's a walkthrough where you get to learn how to deal with this child that's not supposed to be here. Oh, wow. <laughs> If you want to see Corey Holcomb perform, it's the live lit laughter comedy jam at the Fox Theater tomorrow night. The show starts at 7 and tickets start at $63. Corey, the next time you come back, do yeah. not bring a dude in here as part of your posse wearing St. Louis Cardinals gear. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's, that's the promoter from Detroit. Oh, oh no. boy. Also over there with my man Red Grant. That's Red Grant over hey, there. Hey, Red. On the show. You know oh, what I'm boy. Saying?